All right, YouTubers, good morning. It's um, 5.55 um, a.m. here um, in Ghana, and then today is 11th August, and then I'm here to show you how to um, um, disable the server down in um, InLab School Management System version 4. Now, in InLab School Management System version 4, they introduce um, a login um, checked on your internet service. So if, if you don't have internet service, you will not be able to log into InLab School Management System 4. If you try, they will tell you that server down. So uh, if I try, this is um, InLab version 4, and I also have 3.5 open here to as well. So we are going to try the two of them to see. With InLab 3.5, you don't have server down. But in InLab 4, you have server down. So if I try to log in into um, InLab 4, then if I hit on sign in, we should try to check to see whether there's internet service. There's no internet service, so it tells me that server down. If I go to InLabs 3.5 and I try to log in, then I'll be able to log in because there's no um, internet um, checkup on 3.5. So how do you take off um, uh, this server down on InLabs um, um, 4, version 4? Because you can see that 3, I'm logging to my dashboard. This is my dashboard that I'm running. But in Labs 4, I can't log in because it's telling me that server down. If you change any username, it keeps on telling you that server down until you are able to get um, internet service before you are able to log in. So how do we take off this server down so that we can log in even if you don't have internet service? So now, what we need to do is that we need to visit um, our in Labs folder where I've installed in Labs, which is Drive C, and then have arms, WWC. And then I have a folder there called in school. That is um the folder I installed um in labs for on in school. So I'll open in school, then I'll come to MVC. On my MVC folder, I um, have this whole lot of folders that um we um that runs in lab school management system. So I'm going to go to the helpers folder. Now when I come to the helpers folder, I'm going to pick this traffic helper. If I open Traffic Helper on my text editor, then I have Traffic Helper here. Now, when you roll down, there's a portion that says Servers Down. Now, this server down, the statement here is false. So, it's going to check for your internet service. And if your internet service is not active, then it report back false. And when it reports back false, then this error message appears. Now we have active server. Now when you come down, we have um, the code that is to check to see whether you have internet service, um, active internet um, service running or not. Now if this returns false, then it's going to return false um, to this function. And this function is going to um, produce this error message. So if I turn this to true, that is the status to true, then that means that if this status is true, then don't run server down you can log in but if it is false then run what server down so i'm going to change this to true so i'll change it to true by typing true i have true here then i'm going to save my file by going to save then i'll go back to uh, my in labs for and then refresh or reload um my whole page again then this time round i'm going to log in and then that should be able to log us into our system without telling us that server down. So now you can see that we have been able to log in into um, InLab School Management System version 4. So as you can see here, the version is 4. And then as you can see the other one, the version is 3.5. So that is how to be able to log into um, InLab School Management System version 4 by removing the server down option that you have. And then if you are wondering where is InLab School Management System, you can see the reporting system. It has been improved greatly. Is that okay? So this is in lab school management four and this is in lab school management three. So um look at the reporting system for three point five and then look at the reporting system for in lab school management system four. So that is how to um bypass um this server down message. If I should um change this to false again, let's say I'll change it to false. Um false. We have false here, then save it. Then if I go back and log out and tries to log in again, then they will tell me that server down because the statement is false. So if I try logging in again, then they tell me that server down. So 
I need to change it to true and then I'll be able to log in without internet access. So that is how to uh, actually disable this server down so that you can log into InLab School Management System version 4 without any problem. So I hope this helps you that anytime you get InLab School Management System version 4, remember that it uses internet to log in and without internet service you can't log in. But this is the best way you can bypass the server down error message so that you can log into your local system without internet service. That means that without internet service, you will not be able to use in lab school management system. But what happens is this um, you don't use internet service to work with it. The only thing it needs to do is just to check to make sure that there's internet service for the login process and then you are logged into your system. But quite apart from that, after that, you can disable the internet. And then you can still work with in lab school management system version 4. But what if you don't have internet, then this is the best way you can disable the server down so that you can always log into your system to work. So I hope this helped. And then if you like my tutorials, please subscribe to my channel and like my videos and leave comments as well too. But to all those that who have left comments, please don't worry. I will still find time to answer all your questions. But for now, I'm a little bit busy and then I told you earlier on that my system is down. So I'm currently looking for a PC and when I'm back on track, then I will be able to answer all your questions. Currently, this tutorial is being done on a friend's laptop and I, I hope um, by the end of this week or by the end of this month, I should get a new brown, um, a brand new laptop so that I'll be able to answer all your questions that you have asked and all the comments that you left on my video. So till then, stay tuned and subscribe to my channel, like my videos and share to as well. So stay tuned.